Mathematics, Quarter 1, Module 1. Using divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers. What I need to know. This module was designed and written with you in mind. It is here to help you master the uses of divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find common factors and numbers. The module is divided into two lessons. Lesson 1. Divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Lesson 2. Using divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find common factors and numbers. After going through this module, you are expected to explain divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Use divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find common factors of numbers. What I know. Encircle the numbers whose factor is the given number before each item. Lesson 1. Divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Let's play game. The boat is sinking. On her birthday party, Zenny prepared a game called The Boat is Sinking. She asked her 24 guest kids to group themselves into 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. Each time she asked them to form groups, no one is eliminated. But when she asked them to group themselves into 5, 4 kids were eliminated from the game. Why is that so? If she will group the remaining kids into 3, how many will be eliminated? Based on the data presented, how many kids were eliminated when they grouped themselves into 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8? Why? How many kids in a group when the 4 eliminated kids will group again into 2? Why? What's new? Video presentation. Divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Please click the suggested video on the upper right side of this video or on description. Activity 1. On a certain bakery shop, there were 130 pieces of cookies to be placed on trays. The baker wants to arrange them in either 2, 5, or 10 rows. Would it be possible for him to arrange the pieces of cookies? How? What is asked in the problem? What are the given facts? What operation to be used to solve the problem? What is the answer to the problem? Day 2, Tuesday What is it? How do you know if a number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10? Let's go back to your answer to the problem. Let's analyze the problem step by step. Solution 1. 130 divided 2 equals 65. We apply the divisibility rule for 2. All even numbers are divisible by 2. 130 is an even number. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. So the arrangement of pieces of cookies by 2's in a tray is possible. Solution 2. 130 divide 5 equals 26. We apply the divisibility rule for 5. Number endings in 0 and 5 are divisible by 5. 130 end, ends in 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 5. So, the arrangement of pieces of cookies by 5s in a tray is possible. Solution 3. 130 divide 10 equals 13. We apply the divisibility rule for 10. Numbers ending in 0 are divisible by 10. 130 ends in 0. 
Therefore, it is divisible by 10. So, the arrangement of pieces of cookies by tens in a tray is possible. The divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 are grouped because they are all required checking the ones digit of the whole number. Did you understand? Write yes or no on your paper if the first number listed is divisible by the second number. What's more, use the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Encircle the correct answer. What I have learned. How do you know if a number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10? What are the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10? Divisibility rules for 2, all even numbers are divisible by 2. Divisibility rules for 5, numbers ending in 0 and 5 are divisible by 5. Divisibility for 10, numbers ending in 0 are divisible by 10. What I can do? Draw a star under the correct applying the rules for divisibility. Day 3, Wednesday. Assessment. Using the divisibility rules, choose the numbers whose factor is the given number before each item. Additional activities. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper whether the given number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Write yes on your paper if the number is divisible and no if the number is not divisible. Answer key. Day 4, Thursday. What I know. Write yes in the blank if the larger number is divisible by the smaller number and no if it is not. Lesson 2. Using divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find common factors of numbers. In this lesson, the learners will be able to use divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find common factors of numbers. What's in? Choose the numbers that is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Review. Give the first three multiples of the following numbers. 4. Motivation. Looking at this bibingka, what will you do so that your five friends who visited you unexpectedly can eat this equally? Can you apply divisibility rules to this situation? How? Is divisibility rules important in our daily activities? Why? What's new? Hello. Good morning to everyone. Once again, I am here to share with you another lesson to discuss about divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find common factors of numbers. Okay, are you ready now? Video presentation. Please click the suggested video on the upper right side of this video. Activity 1. Let us read and analyze the word problem carefully. 
Mang Jose needs to have blocks of wood that are 5 meters long each. He found logs of wood in their backyard that have the following lengths in meter 25, 50, and 61. Which of the three logs is his best option to get an equally sized block of wood without any excess? How did you get the answer? What is it? This time, I will discuss to you the process on how to solve for the answer to the problem using the visibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers. Analyze the numbers 25 and 50, which is your answer to the word problem. What numbers divides each of the two numbers? To find the answer, we will use the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of 25 and 50. 25 is divisible by 5. 50 is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. The common factors of 25 and 50 is 5. So, 25 divide, divide 5 equals 5. 50 divide 5 equals 25. Therefore, Mang Jose should choose the two logs which measures 25 meters and 50 meters since this will give him an equally sized blocks of woods without any exits. Did you understand? Okay, I will give you another examples and I will explain further to you that the common factors of two or more numbers are numbers that can divide each of the numbers exactly. Find the common factors of the following. Example 1. 46 and 38. Find the divisibility of 46. 46 is divisible by 2. Find the divisibility of 38. 38 is divisible by 2. Example 2. 65 and 50. Step 1. Find the divisibility of 65. 65 is divisible by 5. Step 2. Find the divisibility of 50. 50 is di divisible by 5 and 10. Therefore, the common factor 65 and 50 is 5. Example 3. 80 and 30. Find the divisibility of 80. 80 is divisible by 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, 40. Find the divisibility of 30. 30 is divisible by 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15. Therefore, the common factors of 80 and 30 are 2, 5, and 10. Day 5, Friday. What's more? Write the common factors of the given numbers. What I have learned. How do you find the common factors of two or more numbers using divisibility rules? When to use divisibility rules for two, five, and ten to find the common factors of numbers. Find the common factors of each pair of numbers using divisibility rules. Assessment. Find which among 2, 5, and 10 is a common factor of the following pairs of numbers. Additional activities. Read and analyze the problem. Use divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Solve for the answer. 
Mrs. Romero has two coils of wire that are 32 meters and 60 meters long. What are the possible lengths of each cut of wire? What is asked in the problem? What are the given facts? What will you do to find the answer? What is the answer to the problem? Answer key. Thanks for watching.